Hey everyone, it's Shireen from MyPainCenter.com. Hey, today we're going to talk to you about Delta 9 gummies, but the legal type that you can now go on to MyPainCenter.com and purchase legally without a prescription or medical marijuana card. Okay, so before I start, what is Delta 9? Delta 9 is basically THC. So whenever you're talking about marijuana, weed, THC, that is Delta 9. Delta 9 is federally illegal, right? You can't just go anywhere and purchase weed or marijuana. However, in some states, Delta 9 slash THC is legal because you can go into a dispensary and purchase it. But now you can buy THC slash Delta 9 legally online at mypaincenter.com. How is this possible? Let me explain. I'm going to explain to you how it's possible, the benefits of Delta 9, and then how to make sure you're purchasing the right Delta 9 product for you. Because there's a lot of different t stuff out there these days and you need to be very careful what you're putting into your body. Okay, so let's start with what, how is Delta 9 legal? There's two types of cannabis plants. There's the marijuana plant and then there's the hemp plant. What's at the dispensary is coming from the marijuana plant. That's the THC plant. That's federally illegal. Now, there's the hemp plant. The hemp plant was under the Farm Act bill of 2018, the federal government said that any products from the hemp plant are legal as long as they contain less than 0.3% THC on a dry weight basis. That's why CBD is legal. And when you purchase CBD, you'll either, say, you'll either see on the label, it'll say no THC or it'll say less than 0.3% THC. So the difference between isolate CD, CBD, broad spectrum, and then full spectrum. So. How do you make a legal Delta 9 gummy? Well, here's how it happens. And this is just the demonstration. These numbers are not real in the sense that I'm going to say that this is a one gram gummy. It is not a one gram gummy. It's heavier than that. But say you have a one gram gummy, right? What the Pharmac bill says is that this cannot have more than 0.3% THC, which means this one gram gummy cannot have more than three milligrams of THC. Now, what happens if you take multiple gummies, say five gummies, and you put them together? That means each one of these gummies individually can have up to three milligrams of THC. So now you have a five milligram gummy, boom, this is a five milligram gummy that can have up to 15 milligrams of THC in it, Delta 9 THC in it. And it's completely legal because it came from a hemp plant and it is falling under the regulations of point less than 0.3% THC on a dry weight basis. Okay, so now, what is this legal Delta 9 gummy and how is it different from the marijuana or the THC that you might be familiar with? Well, the benefits of marijuana and the de benefits of Delta 9 THC are pain relief, especially neuropathic pain. So if you've ever had damage to your nervous system, it's really good for people who have cancer. So you're struggling with the cancer pain, struggling from nausea, you need an appetite stimulant. Some people really love Delta 9 for the creativity it gives, for the brain and the mind relaxation effects that it has. People use it for lib libido stimula stimula stimulation, <laughs> libido stimulation. Some people use it for, like I said, the creativity, the zoning out. Some people really love it for PTSD, depression, anxiety. There's just a lot of benefits, medical benefits for Delta 9. The Delta 9 gummies that are now on the market legally have the same medical benefits. So you're getting the same stuff. You just don't need a medical marijuana card or a prescription now to purchase this gummy bear with these benefits. What's the difference now between Delta 9 and Delta 8? So we've talked about Delta 10, Delta 8, and Delta 9. Delta 10 is kind of like your sativa. It's your stimulant. It's really good for energy. It's really good for creativity. It's really good to in the daytime, in the morning to really get you going, right? Delta 8 is a really good way for that body, body relaxation. A lot of our customers take Delta 8 for pain relief, sleep, anxiety, depression, um, did I say insomnia? Yeah, I said sleep. Some people use it also for a libido, libido stimulant and people use Delta 10 for a libido stimulant as well. Now, what is Delta 9? So say you're using Delta 8 and you're feeling great. You love Delta 8. Stay on Delta 8. Say you're building up a tolerance to Delta 8 or your pain levels are so high that you just need something a little bit more. Delta 9 might be what you want to go and try. Now, couple things to be wary of when you go into a Delta 9. Delta 8 is really good. It gives, like I said, it gives you that body high. It gives you a little bit of a mind high. Delta 9, you're going to feel more of that psychoactive high. You're going to feel more of that euphoria. So if you don't like that feeling, this may be something you tiptoe into. So what I mean by that is whenever you start with any new product in the Delta family, I always, always say is take the gummy bear and cut it into four pieces. And on the first date, only take a quarter of 
that piece, right? And then the next day or the next time you want to take some, you can take a little bit more and then a little bit more, but do not take all of it in one day because it may be too much for you and you may not need all of it. And then you're going to have a bad experience and you're going to get really angry or upset. Okay. So Delta nine is really good for, like I said, people who have chronic, chronic neuropathic pain, right? That is not being helped with by Delta eight. It's also good for people with um, depression, nausea, needs an appetite stimulant, wants that creativity feeling, wants that um, stimulant. Some people say they use it for anxiety. I personally cannot use Delta 9 for anxiety because it actually makes me more, THC makes me more anxious and paranoid. So know your limits and know what, what what's good for you and what's not good for you. Of course, Delta 9, these gummy bears do have side effects similar to weed and marijuana. They're going to give you the dry mouth, the dry eyes, the red eyes. They're going to give you the munchies. They're going to show up on a drug test. They are going to give you that psychoactive high. If you're like me, you may experience anxiety and paranoia as well. Okay. So now how do you know what is the right Delta 9 product to buy? Well, obviously you can come to my pain, mypaincenter.com and you can try our Delta 9 gummies. And I'm going to tell you why ours are the best. But first, I'm going to explain to you what to look for when you're purchasing Delta 9 gummies. So when you see a Delta 9 gummy bottle or any D Delta product or CBD product, you should see a barcode on the label, right? If you don't see this QR, this QR code on a label, then you should put that product away and walk away. Now, when you scan this QR code, you'll get what's called a lab result. Now, the lab results are done by third party, so there's no cheating involved. And they test the products for chemicals and pesticides, which is really important to make sure that it's a clean product. But then it also tells you how much Delta 9 is actually in the product and what else might be in the product with it. And that number should match what is on the labeling, right? So like this product shows it's got 10 milligrams of Delta 9 in it. When you scan the QR code, you'll see that the QR code also shows 10 milligrams of Delta nine. Now I say this because when you scan the QR code, you're going to see a lot of different types of QR code. So we tested about 20 different products and there was just a wide range of different milligrams of Delta nine in each one of these products. So you're going to see some products that are pure Delta nine, right? You're going to see the gummy bear has about 12 to 15 milligrams of Delta nine in it. And that's it. No CBD, no Delta eight, just Delta nine. Now that's really good. If you really just want to get high, if you're just looking to get high, that's a perfect gummy bear for you. What they do say, however, is that when it's pure THC and there's no other cannabinoids in the product, you're going to get the high feeling, but you're not going to get any of the therapeutical or medical benefits from it. So that's something you need to be aware of. Now, one of the, one of the things when you go to dispensaries, you're always going to see a lot of one-to-one -one ratio of products. You're going to see um, products that look like this, where it says one-to-one -one on it. What does one to one mean? That means there's the same amount of CBD in the product as there is to THC. And dispensaries love one on ones. Let me tell you why. That is considered the golden ratio, right? One to one means for the same amount of THC, you're gonna get the CBD in it. This is beneficial for a couple of reasons. One, it's the entourage effect. Um, mixing THC and CBD really helps elevate the relief that you're gonna get for pain, anxiety, stress, sleep. You're also going to get the CBD, which helps bring down the psychoactive high. So while THC will make you psycho, will make you high, the CBD helps bring down that high. So if you don't enjoy that high as much, you want a product that has that CBD in it as well. And then CBD is just really good for your general well-being. Like I take CBD every day, even if I'm taking a Delta 10 or a Delta 8, I take the CBD every day because it's really good for just my, to keep me, my mood, um, straight line. Like it just helps me with my elevating my mood. It helps me with my anxiety, my stress, my pain levels. So I take CBD every day. So I highly encourage you to look for a Delta nine product. That is a one-to-one -one. Delta nine with CBD. Now there was also some products that we saw that were like completely CBD with a little bit of Delta nine in it, which was basically a full spectrum CBD gummy, but they had put a Delta nine label on it. So be careful about that because you're going to spend more money to buy Delta nine than you are Delta than CBD. And then you're not going to feel anything. And you're going to be like, what the hell? That's because you just bought full spectrum CBD. Really? Now, why do I love our gummies? Because our gummies are the one-to-one -one ratio, right? It's got 10 milligrams of Delta nine, 10 milligrams of CBD, but it also has 10 milligrams of Delta eight in it. So if you really like your Delta eight gummies, but you really just need something a little bit more, um, but you want to keep your Delta eight routine, but you want that entourage effect and you don't want to feel high. So you want that CBD to bring you a little bit down. This is the gummy for you to try. Now, another reason you might want to try a Delta nine gummy with the Delta eight and the CBD in it is because maybe the Delta eight is really working for you, but you just need that little bit 
extra or you're building up a tolerance and you just need to mix it up a little bit, right? This is the perfect thing for you. So the next video I'm going to do is I'm going to try one of these gummies for you to, so you can see what it feels like until then. If you have any questions about Delta nine, drop them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Also check out our Delta eight videos, our Delta 10 videos and visit us at mypaincenter.com and check out our whole line of products until then. I'm Shereen Kassam at mypaincenter.com. <laughs>